My name is Don Schreiber, and I'm here today to stop Pruitt's delay of an EPA rule that protects the health of my children and grandchildren. He knows this delay will harm them and has admitted it. If someone were to come onto my ranch with the intent to harm my family, it would be over my dead body. Any caring parent anywhere would feel the same and would do no less. My frustration and outrage as a parent is that Pruitt hides behind the skirts of the American Petroleum Institute. He hides behind the wealthiest corporations in the history of the world, hides in the shrubs of politics, and I can't meet him man to man and ask him my burning question. Do you have children? Back on May 12, 2016, when EPA announced the rule that Pruitt seeks today to delay, the EPA said, quote, these new actions will protect public health and reduce pollution linked to cancer and other serious health effects, end quote. So I ask again, do you have children? On and around our ranch in northwest New Mexico, there are 122 natural gas wells and each and every one is leaking or venting. These wells are part of the 30,000 wells drilled in the San Juan Basin since the 1940s and they are all leaking or venting or flaring and they are building the methane hotspot that you have heard so much about. If you could find the center of that Delaware-sized cloud and look down, you would see the Devil Springs Ranch. And now with the advent of infrared cameras, I can see in black and white that methane pouring out, bringing a host of toxic chemicals, benzene and toluene among them. And I don't need a camera to know that they're there Sometimes the smell will knock you down. So Mr. Pruitt, do you live next to a leaking or venting natural gas well? As these natural gas wells are leaking and venting, the taxes and royalties that are due to state and local governments are lost forever. For many states and for New Mexico in particular, these royalties are the revenues for our schools and our hospitals and our police forces. In Rio Riva County, where I live, it's one of the poorest counties in the nation. These revenues lost are critical to the basic community services that we need. County budgets are tightened to the breaking point. County employees are being laid off. Our most vulnerable citizens are suffering. There is nowhere else to cut. So Mr. Pruitt, I ask you, do you live in one of the poorest counties in the nation? When I graduated from Farmington High School in 1966, many of my friends and neighbors went to work in the oil and gas industry. And now, my ranching neighbors, they hold or have held jobs in the oil field. As automation has eliminated jobs, as corporate takeovers, which are financed on the backs of laying off good, hard-working, dedicated career employees, as market prices have driven natural gas prices lower and lower, my friends and neighbors are desperately seeking jobs. The EPA Eldar rule is creating these jobs a new opportunity for higher wages and better work and a chance to reopen the vast manufacturing capabilities that built the San Juan Basin in the first place. So Mr. Pruitt, is one of your close friends a laid off oil worker that is looking desperately for a local job? Mr. Pruitt, your delay puts the health of my children and grandchildren on hold for two years. Mr. Pruitt, your cuts that will result from the delay cuts our state and local government revenues for two years. And finally, 
your delay halts the creation of good paying jobs that are critical for two years. So Mr. Pruitt, come to New Mexico, come to the Devil Springs Ranch, see those wells and smell them, meet our grandchildren and children, meet my friends and neighbors, and see how much this rule means to us.